collection is fine, too. Yeah. Old shitty video games are now collection. Uh, but uh, even with the 8-bit graphics, fucking... I know, they're still good. Still way more oh, yeah, fun than some of the high insane... It looks so real, but the game sucks. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. There's a I lot mean, of shitty new games out. They look really good. But, but the they're getting they're getting shit. put out just because they, like... There's a timeline, and now there's like management companies and stuff, right? It isn't just making a cool game. It's like, okay, we have projections and numbers that we need to meet, and you have to design it a certain way. And like, yeah, they have to be a certain type of game now yeah. that, that hits mm. a certain audience. It's Otherwise, a crazy business instead yeah, of just dudes sitting around like, hey, let's make a game about this. Yeah, like Earth. Uh, but you know, there are exceptions. I'm glad like Trey and Matt took their time with the Stick of Truth. Oh yeah, South yeah. Park because that took like what three years when they what first announced it, but yeah. well worth it. It's quite good. And then the new one comes out this Christmas. The uh, yeah, but Marvel one. Yeah, they're making fun of all the superheroes in it, it aren't called, they? It's the all whole, video games. The whole butt. Uh, it's it's some ass reference. Oh but, okay. Yeah. Is that what it, it is? Like what were you, what were you talking about? It's not um. It's not like Cartman. He's the raccoon or some shit. No, yeah, like yeah but he's Coonskin. That's his character. Yeah, it's Coonskin. Yeah, and they're That's trying cool. to like uh, topple. Mo- they want to do like a Marvel thing. Phase one, phase two. Oh, really? Phase three thing. I'm totally yeah. cool with that. I remember they were talking about not too long ago how that's going to be their thing now. It's going to be the gaming world. Yeah, the fractured butt. They get away. The fractured butthole. Yeah, it, but it's like a weird way of spelling. B u t w h o l e. That's all right. I'm okay with the that. fractured butthole. Yeah. Fractured butthole. <laughs> we should, uh, right. since everybody knows who handsome Dan is. Yes. We got a new buddy here. Kevin oh, Martin. Introduce yourself, bud. Well, hey, boys. Thanks for having me on your show. You I'm, got radio uh, voice. You're classing. I know, man. Oh, baby, <laughs> love. I'm, uh, you know what? I, the mic in front of me, I'm in my own world like always. That's dude. good, man. I was, that's one of the reasons why I was glad. It's like his voice is going to be all sexy. Well, it's going to make <laughs> us sound so much better than we actually are. Oh. Be awesome. I'll just narrate you two talking. That's beautiful. <laughs> and then <laughs> Handsome Dan looked at Saber with those loving eyes of his. As always. Yeah, well, you know, the reason I'm on the show, boys, I got to be honest, I listened to your first ever podcast, which was pretty good. But you, but, know, you but, know I get irked with, with facts. That yes, are skewed. But that's why I have my phone out more often. <laughs> yeah, have that Google, man. Yeah. How was that uh, that Star Wars fact for you? That, that was one the one. That, that one that, got you, didn't it? It really did, man. It I was bugged like, me that I missed it and somebody caught it. Dude, I was on my way to work. I was just listening to you guys in the background. You know, I'm like, I gotta go work at the bar, and then I heard that, like, whoa. Yeah, run on. back in. Have to put my comment there, and yeah. just like, <laughs> that's awesome. It was man. great. Okay, now now tell us what we did wrong. Well, like you and like nine out of ten people since the Rogue One trailer came out, like, well, we know they're all gonna die because many Bothans died. I'm like, and I'm like, no, guys, that was the second Death was it Star. That big of a thing for everybody? Did everybody think it was the Bothans? I thought that was like yeah. a pretty like niche thing that we screwed up. No, that's like, awesome. I don't understand by even watching the trailer how you would assume they're Bothans. That Bothans are like a race, and like so Donnie Yen is apparently in this. I don't know. If he's a blind samurai for God's sake. Yeah. Is he? So I, he's. But that's why I said to him, I was like, isn't he a Jedi? Is <laughs> he like blind? blind? Jedi? Yeah, he's blind blind. He's like Zatoichi in a galaxy far, oh, wow. far away. So that's why he's going to be cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. That yeah. is pretty awesome. Yeah, Zatoichi, man, they they don't do any more of those, do they? No, the, the last, last one was like in the like early two thousands, mid two thousands. That was Beat Takashi. That's right. That's Zatoichi, right, yeah. the blind swordsman. That was stellar, dude. It was so horny. My only beat for that was the uh, the CGI blood. God, I don't like CGI Is it because it was blood. newer? They just decided to go with that? There's it, a lot of blood. It's newer, it's blood. Yeah, you know, the thing is CGI blood, I, they haven't perfected it. It's yeah. like no. CGI gunshot wounds. Yeah. You know, you're like, ugh. Merely you couldn't take the extra time and money and put some squibs on, you yeah, know, man. like... Look, I get it. You got, you, got, you got to build an army of a million people. Yeah, CGI that yeah. shit. You know, it's going to take a bit. Or or like a, a futuristic world, sure. But gunshot wound, come on, man. The blood's got to be done right. It's got to be done very the right. The only CGI gunshot wound that I think I've actually liked was uh, Jeremy Renner in the town when he gets shot in the face. Mm. That bruise comes in almost right away. Like, he gets a broken face right away. And it's very CGI when you really look at it. But, man, the effect is good. Hmm. He gets shot up against a mailbox, I think, in that, the, that last shootout. Yeah. When he hits the ground, when the, when the bullet hits him, his face is deformed right away like you'd expect a guy getting shot in the face like to it's look. like it swelled and like, yeah, like getting like, punched or something it was like he took a like a huge brock lesson to the face oh, okay but like, it swells right away the bruise is there the hole is there and he's he's dead dead yeah instantly oh. it's it's like jeremy renner doesn't have a last moment where he bleeds out it's like, man you're my boy yeah, no yeah, he yeah. gets shot and he's dead well yeah. it was a pivotal scene they had to make sure they got it right yeah, but man. on the flip side though i'm really more forgiving i remember when ash versus evil dead came out last yeah, yeah. year the and tv lo- show right yeah then a lot of the diehards are bitching about the cgi blood i'm like god Guys, this isn't a movie. This is a 12-part television show or 10-part. Yeah. They don't have the budget like a movie would. So yeah. Yeah. let's give them some good graces, and they still used a lot of real blood. And season two is coming out in October, and I'm I saw stoked. That. that looks pretty good, man. Lucy Lawless is like 100% in that now, isn't she? She's like a oh, sidekick. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, did, did you ever... Well, not the sidekick. Uh, she's still like the shady enemy, we're guessing. She's, she's antagonistic. Oh, yeah. Still. Absolutely. I mean, did you ever watch Spartacus? 
when that was on years ago. Yeah, she was Remember? pretty manipulative in that, wasn't she? Yeah, naked really? the whole time. God oh, yeah. bless. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. growing up, we watched Xena, and we're like, oh, oh man, she's I so hot. I want to know. I want to see her naked, yeah. And then we saw her naked, but like, 90% of 20 Spartans. years later, she's like, fuck it, I'll get naked. Yeah, this, she was great. Let's give the fans what they want. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. she was great. She always was that one that you looked at, and she's bigger than you, and she's tougher than you. She kicked the shit out of you, but she's still really hot. Yeah. Only, yeah, only Hercules could do her because he was stronger. Well, well Spartacus. <laughs> Oh, you mean the oh, cartoon? Zena, just Zena. Zena. Yeah, and I, I, that, oh, that's, yeah, and don't Zena, forget, that's the Ash versus Evil Dead connection because Bruce Campbell was Bruce in Zena. Yes, yeah, the Prince true. of Thieves. Oh, yeah. man. He had, a, right. he had a great name that, didn't he? With the goatee, he had the, the, little, the little thin mustache, the yeah. pointy chin. Like, he's a piratey kind of a guy. He, yeah, in, the, in that he what was, was yeah. Name? No, that was, oh, what's his name? But he also had, he had oh, two well, other shows. You have to look that up because he can do it now. He uh, had... Um, the, uh, Briscoe County. Briscoe County. Yeah. And then my favorite one was ja- Jack of All Trades, which oh, was so was cheesy, solid. but it had one of the best theme songs ever. If you're a Bruce Campbell fan, you've never seen it. Even if you find the show too much, just YouTube the theme song for it. Was it was solid, solid. Oh, it's, it's brilliant. They only uh, did a few of those, too, didn't they? It was like yeah. maybe like a half a season. It lasted, no, it lasted about a season and a half. Season and a half, man. Yeah. That was always one of those ones that you wish could keep going. Oh, totally. I don't know if you remember, there was Fortune Hunter. I vaguely remember Fortune, Fortune Hunter. Hunter was a very James Bondy one, mm. and uh, the main guy, Mark something, I can't remember what his name was, but he went on to do uh, the the dude he did. What's it called? Um, uh, Nine hundred two and zero. Oh, uh, Priestley, uh, Luke Perry. No, no, the fellow who made all that stuff. The, the, oh, oh, uh, big director, Aaron Spelling. Oh, Spelling, yeah, yeah. Spelling did a vampire soap opera called Kindred: The Embraced. It's based on a board game. Oh, I remember Kindred: The Embraced. And then he I've played the that. main guy in that, and that would have gotten a season two, but he died in a gory motorcycle accident in real life. Wow. They never got like a second season of that. It was weirdly like it was weirdly good. It was strangely good. Well, way to bring us down with real life. Yeah, death. bring us down. But Bummer. because of that, we got guys like uh, what's his name, um, Titus Welver. Titus Welver kind of got a, a little bit of a start in that. He was going to be the next main bad guy for season two. And then all of a sudden, that, that disappeared. Titus Welver went away for a little while, but now he's back. How the hell do you he's say right. this? What? That's his name. Atolicus. 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 Italicus? Auto look. Right? <laughs> Let's see that. Damn their fancy spelling. Lo- his... Locutus? That's the that's his name? Auto Lycus? Sure. Why not? Let's go. Let's Why doesn't that ring a bell at all? I don't know, man. I thought it was like Xerxes. Yeah, I know. Something yeah, really I, I thought weird. it was real simple. something weird, uh, but kind of sexy at something the same sexy. time. Right? But yeah. the theme song for what was it? Weird. Jack of all trades. Jack of all trades. Was solid. Yeah. Did yeah. any of that show Burn after reading or Burn Notice? Yeah, Burn Notice. Burn it starred good? him. and Burn? Yeah, it was pretty good. It lasted five it seasons. Show, yeah. Oh, really? It starred him and it starred one of the dudes from The Blair Witch 2, The Book of Shadows. The uh, yeah. If you remember that movie, which you probably shouldn't, but if you do, he was the tour guide that was taking I, everybody back I to the Perkinsville uh, Woods. Jeffrey Donovan. Hey, I like the way yes. yeah. I like the way that movie ended. I did too. But that Blair movie, Witch the, too? the movie, Blair you know, Witch you, too. it's not a good movie, but you, you watch it 15 years later, it, it, it's aged better than it I probably thought, I thought it had a good twist. You know, it did. It had that M Night twist going <laughs> yeah, on. Totally. But that one had some weirder stuff going on too, right? They didn't actually yeah. go like into the place where the Blair Witch. No, no, it was, was. just they were, they were supernaturally doing, like, affected. Around, like, schools and whatnot. Yeah. But then, like the the witch infiltrated them, basically. Really? Or the, well, I like the, the idea that it was a movie within a movie. Like this yeah. was about the people that after the first movie came out, they all went to Burkittsville and oh. they were obsessed with stealing sticks and rocks. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The local crotchety sheriff was like, "Get out of them damn woods! There ain't no goddamn Blair Witch!" <laughs> and uh, yeah, all these tours started up. Because yeah. of the documentary in the first one, they'd be yeah. missing. Yeah, basically. They're playing off the yeah. fact that it became a fad to go down there. Yeah. Weird stuff like I always get. Like, you're you're a big horror guy. Yeah. But, yeah. like, real world horror stuff always gets me. Like, I've got this, uh, when I went to India in 2009, this one, I got Buddy Buddy, the guy in uh, in Benares, in Varanasi. And he gave, me, he gave me, like, two pieces of bone. I don't know where they came from, but that town was notorious for being the town where people get, like, you know, burned. And it's a, it's a very holy town. Mm. Information is oh. on the banks. So I, I know he got them from somewhere like that, and I've got them. I don't know what to do with them. It's weird. Like I'm, I, <laughs> don't I, ever. I had good luck because they're in the house. Yeah, or or if anything bad happens, it's like well, uh, you know. I mean, I had a I had a customer donate this. Uh, it looks like it's this we should, wooden. Uh, we should oh mention. yeah. Speaking of which, you have customers. Yeah. Oh Talk yeah. Store, yeah. Uh, what is the store now? Well, uh, it's uh, I've had my the last video store in Edmonton. Yeah. The lobby DVD shop. It is just the up. last. It is the last store. Yeah, when I opened lobby. up in 2005, it was still about 30 stores, including Blockbuster. Yeah, that's now true, due to uh, 
you know, accepting of not making any money in my life and stubborn enough not to close those doors. <laughs> yeah. I, I outlived everybody else. Yeah, dude. That's and, good, man. Well, people think, hey, man, are you happy? And I'm like, meh. When the blockbusters closed, I was totally happy because the reality is, as a kid growing up in the 80s, we had all sweet mom and pop movie yeah, shops. <laughs> and that's those are the stores that carried the really fucked up titles like yeah. black exploitation and women Story in prison movies Ricky. and yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah. And then what happened was the blockbusters came around and they basically buried the mom and pop shops, but at the same time, they played it all fantastic family friendly yeah. and wouldn't let those movies well, the, go over to their stores. The Walmarts yeah, of, uh, of movies. That's Absolutely. A, that's a great yeah. way to put it. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we were kids. We, they never ID'd us. You go to your local. I remember my video store was on the north side of the city and it was called Mick Video. Uh, needless to say, they had to close down a couple years later. Somebody <laughs> sued them. But uh, those guys were super <laughs> awesome. Nice. And um, yeah, but after the Blockbusters closed, which is hilarious because you do know the story that Netflix approached Blockbuster yes. yeah. and Blockbuster yeah, yeah. laughed them off. Yeah. They're like, yeah, whatever. This will never fly. I think you just posted this recently too, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah somebody did. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a hilarious uh, Twitter account online, the, uh, the last, last Blockbuster. Blockbuster. I don't yes. know who posted that. That that, that made me gold. laugh. But yeah, so all that was left after Blockbuster was back again to the mom and pop shops dealing with these fucking cool movies. But unfortunately, they're all gone. So a lot of my regulars are like, Cap, aren't you happy being the last store? I'm like, no, look at this way. It's like being soldiers in World War One, and we're on the front line of the trenches. <laughs> and oh, I see all my brethren getting shot in the head to the left, to the right, and I'm covered <laughs> in blood. And I'm looking over the trench. Dying face and I the see mud. the technological army that is known as Netflix yeah. and Pirate Bay coming at me. And I'm like, how much longer can I <laughs> hang on? When is the call going to come in? Yeah. Sooner or later. There's yeah. going to be a grenade thrown at you. It's too close, and there's no more helmets. You're just going to jump on it, man. Oh, amen. Man. I mean, I've accepted the fact that eventually the store will die, but hopefully it dies on my terms. And uh, if it, nothing else, we have immortalized it with our, our web series that yeah, we did. Uh, Tell us yeah, yeah. put out for us straight to video, a B-Movie Odyssey. Yeah. Check it out for free. It's yeah. very cool. Yeah. Where can they go for that? Mm. Uh, they can go on YouTube, Telus Optics TV, or if they're flying on Air Canada, you can watch it on Air Canada. Really? Oh, awesome, I dude. know, eh? That is killer, man. Dude, but it's super surreal. Like, uh, I'm going to Montreal in a couple weeks, so I'm going to Air Canada, so I'm going to have to watch myself, because if, yeah, you you if you go to the menu, it's Absolutely. like they have the poster for our show, which is me getting sucked out of a TV, but we're right in the middle of like these two like high-budget HBO shows, it's killer. and I'm looking at the menu, I'm like, you know, even though their show is good cost, placement. That's great yeah, placement, because our poster still stands out more. It's all yeah. colorful and shit. It's like being between Seinfeld and Frank. Yeah, man. And your show yeah, just and does show really just, well. Yeah, it just yeah. does well. Not that we earned it. It's yeah. just like good place. No, they're going to be like, well, it must be good. Is it between these two other shows? <laughs> it's <laughs> it's got to like, be great. That's exactly how the order If it's works. airing after Seinfeld, <laughs> it must be On good. my yeah. airplane to you. my airplane movie. <laughs> on my plane. Yeah. Oh, That's yeah. cool, man. But you guys did a lot of work with that. I mean, there was that and there was, there was another one, right? The yeah, yeah. Going? Like, we've been shooting shorts in the store for a while. We had yeah. the award-winning last video store short, and that played all over... Um, uh, America and they, Canada. Didn't they take it south by Southwest? So, oh, no, not so. It was a uh, fantastic fest. Same oh, city. Okay. Uh, all, yeah. Austin, Texas. For, like more movies and stuff. And, uh, mm-hmm. and then, yeah, knowing that like my oddly looking face played in like theaters in Spain and Ireland and like New York and it's just... That is pretty killer. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, it doesn't pay the bills but it, sometimes it's, it's more than the money. And then obviously the one thing that our store did spawn off uh, because I met the right people that were customers was our film festival in town called Dead Fest. Yeah. Dead Fest. Been going for, this will be our ninth year doing it. It's awesome. a big deal. It's a beautiful festival it is thank you uh you know we try to bring the uh the crazy movies to the edmonton theater at the uh the garneau that we'd never usually get and uh, if we got it into budget you know we'll bring in guests and actors and directors and it's a week long and it's a licensed event so every night two or three hundred horny fans drinking beers watching a little bit licky liquored up yeah and uh you know like last year our guest of honor was henry rollins oh wow that's right yeah Yeah. that was very cool he never died movie yeah and man that was like it was just and of course you know he came to my store and i'm like man henry rollins is sitting in my store. I, this is just so surreal. Yeah. And I think I had to tell him, like, man, I'm so glad I met you at 55 and not 25, like, as far as his age goes, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure you were probably more intense back then. Yeah. And he was like, yes. yes <laughs> <That's I would've laughs> been. It's just one word answers. Yeah. No, yeah, but he, he, yeah, that guy was great, man. I mean, he literally was like, always treat a fan the best you can, you know, let them take their pictures. And he was a man by his word. We played this movie at like nine or 10 at night, and they did like an hour and a half Q&A on Afterwards. stage till like one in the morning. And Holy then shit. everybody wanted their picture taken with them. And we live in a world of smartphones. Everybody has yeah. a goddamn camera. Yeah, man. That man did not leave until everybody had their picture. And wow. the last few pictures, he could barely stand. So. That's incredible. Holy man. Yeah. And the coolest thing, all he wanted on his rider when he came up, because he can't get this in the U.S. again, because he's pretty much a well, straight edge kind of guy. Mm-hmm. Apparently, only in Canada, we have those old Dutch... Uh, um, popcorn, like um, popcorn twists. Yes, really. Yeah, yeah, man. Wow. Like the, so the, we the, bought him like five jumbo ones? bags. Uh. Yeah, the white ones. Yeah, <laughs> That's white killer man. Yeah, yeah. the white like cheddar. Yeah, yeah. The bag of air. Yeah, yeah. For two oh, he bucks. loves those buttery That's air. That's incredible. Yeah, I've heard a lot of really good things that like about people who I would want to meet 
that have been really good. When we were at the uh, the casino that will not be named, we had Joe yeah. Rogan come in and do a show. Mm. Joe Rogan stood by after the show and signed every last autograph. Yeah. That was really cool to hear. Things like that. Somebody else just recently I heard is the same kind of thing where he stands by and he signs huh. every last autograph that he's tied. Uh, that's super cool, though. Yeah, man. But I'll, I'll defend a guy that, like, if, if you hear a buddy, like, oh, I met so-and-so at some convention. He was a total dick. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like he might have been, but maybe he was just having a bad day. Yeah. Maybe you caught him at the wrong moment. Yeah, man. Maybe Five he just days had a, of signing autographs. And maybe he just yeah. had a really bad last signing. Someone, like, you know, he was just pissed about it and or got into a fight with somebody, like, and maybe they didn't want to be there, man. Like, you never they're know. doing it, you know, like, they have yeah. to and... The circuit's pretty tough. Like, we yeah. were talking about last time about that, uh, that Malkovich movie coming out. Yeah. Where he plays the guy who's going to conventions. And Him and like, a bunch of B-movie movie actors uh, are going to are gonna heist, like, it's called Supercon. Oh, yeah. sweet. Or they're going to basically plan a, a bank heist at the biggest comic convention in, or movie with convention in... Uh, of the year, oh yeah, but it's him and a bunch of B-list actors, but they're all playing washed-up B-list actors. Oh, that's awesome! There's a yeah. lot of. I mean, I wonder who wrote that, but I remember back in the yeah. uh, in the '80s, the first real guy who did comic cons. Like I was in New York, he was a guy who all the Marvel guys and DC guys eventually they didn't like him, but they loved him. He's hard to get along with, and he made a lot of money doing what he's doing. But at the same time, he was the one putting them on. Yeah, his oh. rules were what made comic cons oh. what they are now. He was oh, the okay. first one. It was like in 1980 or something like that. Huh. His name is like, off the top of my head. I can't remember. It's a huge guy mustache. Well, wasn't it? Wasn't it like I don't know if Comic Con or Sci Fi Con New you can York, mix to, but like, huh. wasn't it because of a, a sci fi science fiction conventions that Star Trek? Remember, oh, it was yeah. canceled in the '60s. Yep. Then the convention thing started in the '70s, and mm -hmm. it kind of made people realize, like, wow, there's still a market for this. Yeah. And, and you know, George Lucas himself always said Star Wars wouldn't have been as big in '77 if they didn't start promoting it a mm -hmm. year earlier at these conventions with like T-shirts and deal, stuff yeah. that he made himself because mm -hmm. nobody believed in the movie. And, like. How are we going to get the word out of this movie? Yeah. Let's go to these sci-fi conventions. Well, you even know? like the first uh, Marvel comic, Star Wars comic, they didn't even know what Star Wars was about. They had a rough idea of what it was. Yeah. They drew the characters weird. Like, I mean, Darth Vader was green. Yeah. Very strange. Luke was buff and he was carrying a sword sword. Like really weird didn't stuff. Didn't they maybe they didn't base know. it more off the original uh, art the design? Concept, but the, the concept uh, art? Yeah, Ralph by Ralph Quarry, yeah. Yeah, I think it was a lot a lot more on that. Like, Chewbacca looked a lot more animal. Like, a lot yeah. more was it feline, done by choice then, the maybe? Like they wanted to? I think it was between choice and really not knowing what they are getting into. Oh. I mean, Star Wars wasn't Star Wars back then. It was exactly. Just a movie. We keep forgetting oh, right. that, right? Yeah, like, they couldn't really do anything. 1977, with it. nobody knew the hell it was. I know. We're, we're at that age where, like, you know, for us, it's hard to believe there was a world before Star Wars. Yeah, man. When, yeah. like, the most successful sci fi movie ever was Planet of the Apes. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Which is still great. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I've always thought I want to see a reality show where it's a bunch of guys who just knowingly go onto an island and they know they can be attacked by guys wearing ape costumes on horseback. The whole intro scene of Planet of the Apes will be the choosing, the, the picking part of who's going to be on each team. Apes come on horses, grab them in nets, drag them back, and then they build teams. And now you have to like work your way through and you know, be nice to these guys because they might whip you. They might whip you. You never know. You know, sign a good waiver that says you're gonna get beaten by guys in ape costumes. Yeah, it's a twisted concept. But I'd love to see guys get beat up by guys in ape costumes. <laughs> hey, no, that's that's oh, all yeah. right. In fact, you know what? They're they're running low on reality TV show ideas. They should it's start wrong. just totally man getting the getting the copyrights <laughs> for some great movies and base them off that. Exactly. I mean, yeah. a movie version of Big Brother or whatnot. I mean, like Zombie House. You yeah, know, there's an apocalypse outside. You're stuck inside your house now. I mean, you never know. You might have to like fend off an army of zombies trying to smash through your windows. Yeah. They grab you and pull you out. You're out. You're yeah. out of the house. That's how you get eliminated. No voting off. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, man. I want to see guys get killed. <laughs> you make like, poor choices. Killed. Exactly. Poor well, but choices. it's only a matter of time. I mean, why not, why not Running Man or whatever? Why don't we just have That'd that? Oh, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> it'll, running it'll Man is soon, coming right? in about, I'd say, 10. Well, wait. Let's see if Trump gets in. That's, yeah, that's it might, might be the new show next. <laughs> January. It's true, man. January 31st. He's yeah. probably got man. that. He's probably like, you know what? Let's bring back Running Man. Make sure that was a movie. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. <laughs> Oh, you never know, though. He is, like, sabotaging his own his own campaign now. Yeah. I don't think he ever expected to get this far. No, the latest He's, the latest I heard, uh, there's like, rumors that he might have his wife run as vice president. You never know. I'm not even joking. That was yeah. uh, all over the news as today. It, as his running mate? Yes, as his running who mate. Knows, so who man? does he have now? Nobody. Well, he's at, well he has really... standing behind him, smiling and nodding. Chris Christie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Weirdo, man. Unreal. I, think I saw a clip where he's, like, it shows Trump, and he's saying stuff, and he shows this Chris Christie guy, and he's just... Like looking at him in disgust. Well, like, he starts he talking saying? shit about Jersey and one of the famous ones. And oh, that's probably the one. Christie's behind him. Yeah. Christie's the governor of New Jersey. Yeah. And he's just like, oh, well, you know, I mean, we know it's a dump, right, Chris? And he's like, what? what, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Christie's such a spineless tool. They all are, actually. All these guys talking shit about Trump months earlier. Now Trump's the big man in charge. So they're exactly. kissing his ass. And yeah. it's, it's just sad. 
it's a popularity contest. Problem is, I, I have no love for Hillary either. So oh, I'm yeah. just like, Ugh, well, she's shady man. Yeah. Fuck yeah, she's, she's shady, shady as hell. dude. So yeah. it's weird. I mean, okay. we've got two people we don't want, and as Canadians, it's like we're watching our little brother fail. Like we're yeah. watching <laughs> as Canada, we're like, oh, yeah, let's, let's see what happens here. But at the same time, you don't want your brother to be an alcoholic. You want to give him twenty bucks to get cleaned up, and he's yeah. not doing it. Well, no. fuck. If you think about it, we're the middle brother because we already saw another brother called Britain screw things up oh, too, man. man. Oh dear, that was weird. I mean, we're just we're should be interesting. All we can do is look and be like, maybe. Maybe we should be building a wall. I don't know. It's getting a bit creepy out <laughs> at there. At least a barbed wire fence. Something. A low fence. Maybe a five-foot fence. Just, like, just get the Mounties and the Moose lined up. If you can jump up, you're good to go. A little oh. bit of electricity. Yeah. Bit. I mean, that is the, uh, this is the beginning of the zombie apocalypse. Yes. Oh. We're going we're gonna to watch this go weird. I was reading an article recently that said, like, we're the end of history. I'm like, man, that's pretty bleak. Like, it was just the other that. day I was reading about something about how movies are influenced by like the times. Right. And how we're influenced right now by the zombie movies and The yep. Walking Dead. Yeah, and hey. All this weird shit because we are kind of at the end of history. I mean, I'm sure every, like when you look at the Renaissance and how every real uh, 500 years or so, when people believe Christ was coming back, they thought, well, this is it. We're yeah. all going to get lifted up and the ones who are here are here. It's mm. going to be the God versus the devil. Yeah. And it always influences art, right? Yeah. But um, we're kind of seeing that now in our version. We're seeing the end of our kind of history. We think, you never know. We might just destroy the planet before our kids or grandkids are old enough to appreciate it. Yeah, maybe. So, yeah. I mean, we're at that place now where our influence, our artistic influence is by our belief. We're emulating it, right? We're emulating, yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure, yeah. man. Movies can dictate a lot of what's going on in the world. Like, as long yeah. as Zack Snyder doesn't. He's not in charge of making the movies anymore. Yeah, he what? sure is. I don't <laughs> think he lost his job on Justice League just man. yet. There's rumors. There's rumors. Yeah. So, I think it's the last one for him. I don't think I'll be back after this. Did you guys attempt to watch the uh, Uber Ultimate Cut of Batman Superman? No. Great, no. Great. no. Great. Have you? Oh, God, no. no. Yeah, I, you know what? On one hand, I'm like, well, maybe it makes more sense. But maybe it'll make more sense why it's a terrible movie, too. That's what yeah. Ghost said. He said it just made more sense. Yeah, and that's about it. I mean, the one the one thing I talked about is that, that maybe they did a smart get-out-of-jail-free card. They took a big chance by hiring Jesse Eisenberg to play Luther, who uh, was, I think we can all agree, was, was a misfire, I yeah. would say. His it was a little trail. weird. It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what I thought, what I heard uh, at first, what I thought was just rumor, but apparently it was real. Is Brian Cranston literally volunteered his services or Luther wanted to be in running? And Snyder was like, "No, no, no, we're going to go with this Eisenberg guy instead." I'm like, "You could have had Brian Cranston, man. Oh, that's rough. Essentially man. for free. Is that, is that what he's saying? But, like, <laughs> but if I was the dudes behind Just League, and I was like, okay, here's what everybody hated. All right. Well, the, the good news is. Luther kept referring to himself as Alexander's Luther, kept referring to is. his pops, his yeah. dad. Yeah. So who says that he's not the son, and who says his dad is dead? Maybe his dad was in jail, and then if you're going to do Just League, have Lex get out of jail. Yeah. You know, the hell with Eisenberg's character. You can stay in jail. Lex comes back, takes over Lex Corp, and yeah. fuck, yeah. get Kevin Spacey back. I don't care. You know yeah, it was even, bad? No, no when let's I, not. Let's well, please not. It wasn't his fault. <laughs> it, it, was his, it was their fault, the writers, for once again having Lex Luther. <laughs> another real estate scam. It's yeah. always about real it's estate. It's always land with him. Yeah, except for this one one right yeah. this one made no sense because it was like why do you hate superman so much yeah. you don't even tell me why you hate superman that's the, that's my beef like in the comics he makes it pretty clear like he asserts that it's not <coughs> it's not up to superman to save mankind yeah. man can save well humankind can save mankind yeah. we can do it ourselves and that's his point and now that superman's out there doing it he's like no we don't need you you can you can help out but you know we're gonna do it ourselves yeah. mm. and that's his beef right whereas here he just didn't like him there's no real explanation of why he doesn't like Superman. And more importantly, why doesn't Zack Snyder like Superman? Because yeah, the way God, he, he wrote him it. and made him a brooding, just a emo Superman, who's like, oh, God, yeah. humans. Yeah, he really isn't that upbeat, hey, ever. Dude, no, he like, he's a, so he down. He has 47 lines in the movie. That's it. I felt, really? Yeah, that's wow. it. There was wow. a count. I felt bad for him. Um, but... He's such a good actor, man. I appreciate that guy. Like, see the pros are. Did you see that one? Not not to interrupt you. The no, one no, before this, man where from he Uncle? was not, not the man from Uncle. He was uh, by himself. Where is a uh, Luke Besson movie? I think where he's running around France and he's got that chick helping him out. What? Uh, Bruce Willis was his dad. Oh, like I, Bruce Willis Jr. I know the one you're talking. He about. He was awful in that. Mm. He was, was he? really what bad. What movie in that is one. this? It was one before, well, it was the one that came out when they announced he's Superman. Oh. They really pushed it as a big deal. It's going to be a huge deal. Oh, look, it's Henry Cavill, future Superman. Right. And he was terrible. He was not good. That sucks because I really enjoyed him in Man from Hey, Uncle. man, I still Man from Uncle's quite good. I still thought Brendan Ruth was fine, man. He was Christopher Lee. He studied Chris, or Christopher, Christopher Reeve. Reeve yeah. yeah, he studied him to the core. But, like, the things they did, right? Ben Affleck, good. Oh, ben man. Affleck is a great director. Yep. I don't understand why they didn't do the solo Batman movie first. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, <sighs> if it was me marketing, I would have released Suicide Squad first yeah. this, in the spring because Batman's in it for a little bit. Give us a tease yeah, of Batman, tease, yeah. the, That's the a Bat great idea. and then now they've already seen him. They build up like, the Superman yeah. thing that would come out next month. Exactly. Know? Yeah, because I mean, the moments that you see him as like the Predator, 
in mm-hmm. the in Batman yeah, yeah, versus yeah. Superman are terrific. And if you had like, like the glimpse of him in Suicide Squad as that guy, mm-hmm. the badass yeah, the Batman, yeah. that would have been terrific. Hands down, like the best scene in the movie. I'm trying to think of positives is when he uh, Batman is, is saving Superman's mom and he bursts through the, the floor. And oh, he yeah. Kills yeah, 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 yeah. It almost reminded me. I was talking to our a good friend Sean McKechnie, and he was like, "It would remind me if they would have made like an Arkham Asylum movie." Yeah, that 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 sequence exactly. would have been like an Arkham yeah. Asylum movie. He moved around like like a mix between Arkham, oh, the Kevin Conroy Batman. Yeah, he moved around like Arkham and the cartoon. Where yeah. he had that flowing kind of style to him. His cape moved with his body. He had yeah. a really great silhouette in everything really he did. surgical moves, like brutal yeah. and surgical attacks like in the game, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, everything he did was like that minimal movement, maximum damage. Yeah. Yeah, it was really quite well done. Oh, for sure. I mean, if nothing else, hey, at least uh, we got the killing joke to look forward to. Oh, yeah, man. dude. And I'm glad. Unfortunately, it's only playing one day in theaters. Yeah. But if you get a chance, I, I'll obviously but check it out. But go to Netflix screen. pretty quick, too, though. Like, I have it coming into the oh, shop. The, it hits Blu-ray on August 2nd, Does so it? it's not mm. that far away. Oh, okay. But uh, as much as I could bag about the movie we just talked about, after seeing Independence Day Part oh, Two, oh, wasn't that bad, huh? <laughs> you know, dude, Luke went and saw your, him. Like, your uh, comment was really—it hurt me. It, Luke went and saw it even after I told him what you said. Oh, you yeah. spent like a half hour violently telling me about. Oh the my god! I, like you know what? I go see a movie on my birthday every year, and I'll always now remember my fortieth birthday till the end of time <laughs> because I'm like, you know what? It's a big dumb summer movie. I remember yeah, I enjoyed right? the first one twenty years ago. It wasn't great, but it was fun. In fact, af- two days after I watched the new one, I revisited the 96 movie again. Yeah. So I'm like, maybe I was crazy. Maybe it does yeah. suck now. And I'm like, awful. it's not good, but it was fun. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, as cheesy as Billy Pullman's presidential speech is, right. I yep. got ch- fired up. Or the you know? Welcome yeah, to Earth, man. Like, that was oh, man. You know what? Alien's armor with I, oh, it was great. I owe a big apology What's for Will line? Smith. Welcome to Earth. Welcome to Earth. Welcome to Earth. <laughs> I owe a big apology for Will Smith. I was pissed that I'm like, way to turn it down, yeah. big, big Willie style. No, you man, know? he had it right. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, he, he was smart. Right. He's like, are you are you guys serious? Are you really serious? You want me to do this? No. It was so I think they wanted bad. To, like, I was Bagger Blind Vance. sign on. <laughs> I was Bagger Vance. Yeah, but you know what I, mean? I was a magical Negro. Yeah. You know what they tried to do? They tried to pull a Force Awakens, but they failed. And when I say that, I mean, we'll oh. bring back some original characters that oh, yeah. you, you, the audience, love. So they got Goldblum, Pullman, and Judd Hirsch back as Jeff Goldblum's dad. And oh, really? Dude. Oh, he's like, yeah, he's on a boat somewhere. Yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. and honestly, Goldblum, you could tell, yeah, he's aged 20 years. Judd Hirsch looks the same. He, he <laughs> like, does not that age. That dude looks he's a wizard. Old, yeah. He looks just like he was just doing Taxi yesterday. Alex Riga. He looks wow. like Alex Rieger in Taxi. Honestly, <laughs> he has uh, what I call the Iggy Pop uh, clone disease, yeah, yeah, yeah. where like Iggy Pop looked old in the 70s, and yeah. then he just stopped aging. Yeah. He's yeah, looked man. the same ever since. Preserved by drugs. But yeah, so they bring us these original characters back, and yeah, they, they had the best lines. Oh, and Brent Spiner, too, who was terrible. I miss Data so bad after watching oh. That's rough, man, because I mean, I thought he died in the first one. He did die. He was apparently only in a 20-year coma, though. Oh, I'm, wow. I'm pretty sure in the first one, when they <laughs> when the alien unwraps the tentacle around his neck, and the soldier goes over, looks for a pulse, looks yeah. up, and goes, uh-uh. That was uh, <laughs> I mean, t- Adam Baldwin, wasn't it? He walks up and puts his hands on his throat. It might like have been Adam on. Baldwin. Could have been. Yeah. Oh, that poor bastard. That yeah. poor bastard. A man. non non speaking role. They didn't even let him say he's dead. He's no. Like, <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> Game over, to, yo. You don't even get to Game say Game over. It. Game over. But again, getting back to Force Awakens, so they got that. But then they bring in these new young characters, which in the Force Awakens works because I like the new yeah. characters. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really likable. He's likable. Good actors. Yeah. John Boyega is the man. But I don't understand how Thor's little brother, Liam Hemsworth, <laughs> keeps getting jobs. I mean, he's a pretty boy, and his brother is Chris Thor. Hemsworth's brother? Yeah, that's about all I got. Because maybe, again, not fair to bitch at him, because the dialogue was so horrible. And the guy who played Will Smith's son, holy yeah. jeez, I felt bad for him. He just... They had, tr- they, had, they had a Will Smith son? Kid? Yeah, the kid. Will, the kid. He's grown up now. He's a big fighter pilot. So Will's like... Dead or what? Like how? Did oh he yeah, yeah. They killed. They killed off the Will Smith character. Oh, he yeah, died okay. in some uh, tragic training exercise. Uh, and oh man, was it was it during the testing of the hybrid vehicles? Uh yeah, because that was the other weird thing that threw me off. It is 2016, but it's all futuristic because they had their technology. Oh. Yeah. you think that would be cool, and it could have been. But watching lasers fighting lasers was kind of boring. There was no <laughs> like, how are we gonna fight this amazing thing? You yeah. know, like. They did it wrong. I mean, like you said, right? Force Awakens did it right. Force they Awakens did homage. it right. They did a remake by paying homage to the original. Yeah. And they did a remake properly. Honestly. As much as I want to bitch, not to interrupt, as much no, as I want to no. bitch about Force Awakens, every time I see it, I'm ready to bitch about it, and I'm always walking away happy. Yeah, exactly. They gave the fans what they wanted, and, yeah. and for all the people that still want to bitch about it and say, oh, it's too much like A New Hope, I'm like, that's what you wanted, because yeah. when yeah. the prequels come out, you're like, yeah. this is nothing like the exactly. original movies. <laughs> People forget how fast they bitched. I, mean, oh, I don't want to watch a movie on a trade deal, yeah. Yeah. a trade negotiation. Yeah, exactly. Which yeah. I didn't. I want a Death Star. I want a big ship. I don't think it's a blow yeah. up. I want, I want a, a, I want a, cool I want a Death Star
fucking kill. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it has to kill see. another solar system to power itself up to kill. It's got to just look enough like hell to make me think that aliens or, 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 or the oh, oh, future techno- or the technology. Or the or whatever, the giant planet eating Unicron. robot. Unicron. <laughs> Unicron from, uh, from Transformers yes, there. Yes. Yes. Orson yeah. Wells. Yes. Right, Orson Wells. Well, and, uh, two final thoughts in Independence Day, and then I'll put it to bed. Uh, if they would, if you would told no, me, no, your rants are good. No, if good. you would have told me a giant fucking kaiju alien running across Nevada desert, I'm talking like a hundred feet, two hundred feet tall, would have bored me. I'd, I'd be like, come on, how boring! It was terrible. Really? And, oh yeah, and then there's but, this other but, alien life the form. Pacific Rim man was so entertaining. <laughs> it was dumb, but that was fun it was. too. It was no, don't don't it was don't dumb do this, look, man. I get it. Jack from Sons of Anarchy really threw me off. Dude, with that, that movie. That Russian robot ruled. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't the first one to <laughs> go. The it was robot, the rock yeah, it was the first robot. one. It was the two arms on one side. Yeah, but it right? took forever. It was hard working. Let let Kevin finish his thought. Sorry, sorry. No, I just we're gonna get to how much Pacific Rim blows. Yeah, okay. All right, I just had one more thought. There, there's another alien species in this second Independence Day, um, and it's it's a one for peace, and they're, they're there to help the humans because the humans fuck it up, hence that what causes yeah. the aliens to come back. Mm-hmm. But the form they take, it's like this giant ball thing. You guys remember the movie Heavy Metal? Oh, yeah. Okay. It literally looks like the spaceship the that John Candy and Rick Maddox should be driving in heavy metal doing all the blow. Yeah. That circular <laughs> orb thing. Yes. Well, that's weird. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly. And I'm pretty sure whoever designed it for Independence Day must have been a heavy metal fan. Because people that got it, got it. It oh, was just. Man. Oh, and then, of course, because they're, tr- they're planning a trilogy, although unless Chi- unless China oh, yeah. saves Everything the box is. office, because Chinese box office is way more important. Yeah. And trust me, they put two characters in that just pander, pander to the Chinese really? market. Oh, yeah. Wow. Speaking Mandarin and shit without even giving us subtitles. That, that worked for Iron Man 3. That's why Iron Man 3 became it's the true. biggest gross yeah. movie. They, they gave a, a different cut of that movie for the Chinese audience. Mm-hmm. But wow. Yeah, literally, this movie ends with Brent Spiner. I think he literally says the tagline for what the third movie is going to be called, looking at you, the audience. Oh, no. <laughs> You're like, really? You think you're going to get a sequel that good, eh? Yeah, I'll <laughs> oh, see it in wow. a $5 bin at Walmart. Oh, my God. That's what's going to happen. That oh. movie's going to show up in like, go the cheap DVD, bins. Yeah. i got to be TV. honest, boys. Look at the lineup this summer for big-budget movies. They all look like crap. I mean, it, I mean, look, who thinks Ghostbusters is going to be good? I have yeah, no, no idea, I, man. I, yeah. I don't know, but at the same time, like I think it would have been better with a different cast. I've got no problem being women. Well, like, I know. I know. You like, always have to say right away. Well, we I don't either. Either. It comes down to like the type of people you get for it. What about like, of, Tina Fey? Exactly. Or, like, what if they had characters? Tina Fey. Fey and Polar are great. Yeah. They're, or they're honestly, awesome. how about it is so it wouldn't be all like the attention would be like, oh, the female Ghostbusters. That's all people can refer to it as because yeah. we know it. Yeah. Uh, instead of being so like complete opposite, why don't you integrate uh, two male and two female Ghostbusters? Like, you know, like a little bit of teamwork. And, um, yeah, no, I mean, look. Well, they to, said it's supposed to totally, con- like, cut off the original. Yes, it is yeah. a complete Continuity. reboot. Oh, yeah, it's, it is not, yeah, no. it's not a remake of the first mm, one or yeah. even a sequel. Well, it, that's it messed up. Cuts ties all And I think that's my biggest bitch of the movie. Uh, honestly, here's all I needed, uh, and I would be way more embracing this movie. I'm going to use a weird example. Do you guys remember the remake of Shaft with Sam Jackson? Yes. And that's what we talked about. Yeah. You're right, you're absolutely yeah, right. Yeah, I think yeah. we talked about yeah, that. Dude. We're like... Yeah. Going into it like, oh, it's not a remake because he's John Shaft's nephew yeah. who has yeah. the same name. And mm-hmm. then Richard Roundtree shows up for five or ten minutes and says, hey, it's, yeah. it's your game now. Yeah. Well, he offers him a job, right? Honestly, yeah. all we would have needed is, I don't know, mm-hmm. Melissa McCarthy or one of the girls maybe to be the, the niece or the daughter of Aykroyd. Just something. Or something. Make something. it generational in some way. Yeah. yeah. And just give them their story. Yeah. That was my beef with, uh, what was the other one? Point Break 2. Or not, uh, Point Break, uh, the new yeah. one, the remake. Well, yeah, the way. Make it a sequel. Yeah. You know, even the Pappas character could have been Keanu Reeves. I was just going to say, yeah. have Keanu show up for 10 minutes. Pay yeah. him for two days of work. Exactly. Or make him the fucking, the guy they're chasing now because he goes crazy and decides to become a bank robber. Could have been something. You know, like, yeah. Because you know he still has the chops to pull that shit off. Yeah. Well, yeah, and I was going to yeah. say, so they're going to go, and he still has, like, plutonic love for, for Bodhi. So, yeah, like, yeah, after man. seeing him die, he was never the same after right. that. Yep. Yeah, he went all rogue. Yeah, he goes rogue. He let him go. He robbing banks and living the dream. I mean, great. I never saw it. Uh, did they wear masks uh, with ex-presidents again? There is, I think, some moment they do. Mm. Luke saw it. And Luke, Luke's comment was that it would have been a great movie were it not Point Break. Just don't call it Point yeah. Break. It was like you should call it Extreme Sports Bank Robber, guys. <laughs> no, call yeah. it you know, Heat Extreme Sports Edition. <laughs> <laughs> or Triple yeah, X3, which yeah. is coming out. Actually. Oh, I know. Yeah, that's yeah, a big one, too. Uh, no, man. I mean, that's... I think It's going to do well. It's it, oh, it probably will. <laughs> People love Vin Diesel. Yes. Everybody likes watching. Everybody wants a superhero. But, but here's right? the thing. If he hadn't done Fast and the Furious this entire time, if they did Triple X3 now, mm-hmm. where would he have 
gone on Groot popularity. Like he built himself. <laughs> Would up he have from been the, Groot yeah. at all? Yeah, I don't I know. think he'd have been Groot to be. It's true. Well, you guys remember when the first trickle uh, triple X came down? Yeah. The, the studio executives, brilliant that they always are. We ever thinking like, you know what? The young kids they, they like all that crazy extreme sports stuff. You yeah. know what? <laughs> we're gonna do an opening scene where we're gonna have like a James Bond kind of looking dude, not cool enough to do his job at a Ramstein show, and he'll get killed, and they'll just show. That's right, you old people that like Bond movies. You're not cool <laughs> or relevant anymore. Vin Diesel's yeah. fucking relevant and don't get me wrong I love I, I love I love yeah. Vin Diesel I yeah. do um, but then and honestly that opening scene for that movie left a sour taste in so many people's mouths saying really oh yeah that was a huge misstep they're like wait are you telling me franchise. because yeah. I like James Bond I'm not cool anymore fuck you and your movie and wow. I hope it bombs and wow. remember it didn't totally bomb but Man, it, it wasn't didn't, gangbusters. It, it, it wasn't, wasn't gangbusters, huge. and yeah. then what they, they they shot the sequel to Ice Cube for like one fifth the budget of the yeah. first one because they totally misfired. That was oh, rough. It, it angered a lot set. of people. Yeah, you know, I don't, I didn't see it in theaters. I remember what's his name, uh, the Lord of the Rings guy is the bad guy in that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, one of the one of the elves, not Elrond, the other one. The, in, in the, the elf sequel the, to uh, yeah. Triple X. What's your name? The the blonde one, Gladriel's husband there. He was the bad guy in Triple X, the first one. What? I'm so, I'm so He's happy. Euro Trash. The same guy who played the bad guy. He plays European bad guy number two Eastern and everything. Eastern in, Promises? Uh, not Eastern Promises. That Denzel remake of um, the TV show there that came out just recently. Oh, The Equalizer. Oh, yeah, Equalizer. Yeah. I actually like same The Equalizer. Dude. That movie, movie. rules. The thing so is, so I, Tate Fletcher. Look, uh, Pirate I, Radio. I, lo- I love Denzel, man. I, I, that man, Man of Fire is still the shit. That's a solid dude, movie. A solid movie. That's a solid movie. That guy can do a lot. I mean, now we got The Magnificent Seven. Yes, he's, uh, I saw the huh? trailer for that. Yeah, he's playing. Well, I guess he's playing a, a version of Chris, right? Chris yeah. or Vin? Is Chris Pratt in that movie too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, it was he the plays Chris, and the other one plays Vin. Well, versions of different names and whatnot, but different versions of those characters. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit weirded out they're making that. I heard they're maybe remaking the Wild Bunch too. Oh, that's rough, man. I know that's that one's rough. tough. But now they're remaking Ben Hur. I'm like, you know, why? I don't, it looks awful. Though. I don't know if there's the trailers an, up. And it's terrible. When, what was the last historical remake like of these Gladiator movies that was actually a hit? Because I find they just keep coming out and they keep bombing. Not, like not. What was that last one? Gods of Egypt or whatever? Oh, my God. Oh my God. Yeah, not a remake, but Conan no, the Barbarian but... remake. Mm. Awful. Yeah, yeah awful, terrible. Awful, awful. But the and new not one... Momoa's fault, though. No. No. No, no. Mom- I mean, if you get somebody to walk up to you, no matter who you are, and say, hey, you can play Superman in a movie. And yeah. you think to yourself, well, Oh, like yeah. you're going to turn it down, right? turn it down. We're going to get you to play the new Conan. Like, exactly. What? But Momoa, I mean, looked the part. He, <laughs> he looked, did. He, he looked did. the Sumerian part, as far as the comics go. Yeah. I mean, we, we don't really know where he'd be. He'd be Celtic. He wouldn't be uh, as dark as Momoa. Mm. At the same time, he did a good job. But the movie itself was awful. Too much CG. Oh yeah, the wrong people playing the wrong characters. Mm. Well, there was They're too many beasts fighting, too many beasts, too many huge yeah. CGI too beasts. Too many weird things. I still That's think so. it was probably better than Conan the Destroyer. Uh, that that oh, one was uh, pretty. The Destroyer was, was rough. There is, I'm sure Being, I saw somebody saying they liked it better than the first one. When I, I was a slap. kid, oh, well, hard, man. You guys, if you remember, Conan the Barbarian was rated R when it came it's out. My, it was uh, it was a favorite movie of all time. Back oh, then. nice. It was. And then Conan the Conan the Barbarian. Nice. Oh yeah, I guess there's some titties in there. That's rated R. Yeah, and then. Conan the Destroyer rated PG yeah, uh, because they wanted to make more money so they had to milk yeah. it down why is Will Chamberlain in this movie yeah, exactly. and, and, and that crazy little, Grace little, Jones yeah, that was com- a lot. Yeah. and that comedian that small comedian guy oh yeah oh, terrible yeah, yeah. he was uh, yeah. they need me oh, God. <laughs> they do that voice me. way too well oh, oh yeah we used to make fun of that a lot oh. honestly boys uh, we were talking Conan makes you think about Arnold of course yeah. Yeah, yeah. we we all grew up on Arnold we want him to have one more hit we yes, want him you know we really hope since he's come back to movies Exactly. I basically, he needs his Grand Torino. He does. And when yeah, I man. say that, he needs to play yeah. to his age yeah. and like play to his strengths. Yeah, he he exactly. can't be Terminator anymore. No, man. I mean, like, Stallone's CGI doing it right. Yes, yeah, Stallone. Stallone's doing that yeah, whole thing he's right. Aging like Rocky Balboa, oh. he ended it right. Creed. Uh, John Rambo, Creed, he's doing it properly. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. getting himself into the age where he's now the mentor and he's walking away from the franchise, yeah. properly handing it over. Amen. I admit, I admit I was sad when he officially killed the uh, rumors there will be no new John Rambo movie. Like, yeah. He's no, done. I'm okay with that. But you know what? I, I was just yeah. going to say after thinking That's about it, I'm like, you know what? Yeah. That last one was stellar and he yep. got home at the end yeah. with the same coat and backpack he was exactly. wearing at the beginning of First Blood. So he came full circle, right? Yeah. When he goes to the farm and sees his pop or if he's still there, who knows, right? Yeah, now. who knows? But it was good. It was a good ending. Because, yeah. I mean, the next one was going to be some weird thing where he's going to fight the perfect creature, the perfect, like, creation of yeah. man. Yeah, right? I, I, heard, I heard a bunch of things. I heard that. I heard stuff. homeland yeah. terrorism. Because, uh, yeah. I don't know, man. I'm just... 
I'm getting sick of the like fighting the the the, the, the Al Qaeda or whatever. Yeah, like, I don't on, need on, Arab on. bad guys anymore. Yeah, dude, because like that too much. Three was just epic for that. Hey, yeah. the commies and the Arabs and the yeah. Like, well, it's but funny. Al Qaeda were the good guys. Oh, they were the good the guys. Remember? Because yeah. yeah. it was a different time. And then yeah, yeah it, oh my god. Well, it was funny because after the, the great commies. after the Soviet <laughs> Union collapsed in 1990, as far as Hollywood went, they were running like who the fuck's the bad guys yeah. now? Yeah, Not the commies anymore. We didn't know who it was gonna be. That's why true lies. They went let's just go full racist Arab. You know, like right off the bat. At before even that were, sequence of the guns and the, the oh dude, chanting, God. Yeah, yeah, they were pretty hard, man. Still a very watchable movie, though. Dude, yes. I love True Lies. Yeah, yeah. True Lies is still, still a very. I, watchable I can movie. get over the political incorrectness yeah. of, of shit, but, but it, it almost like it was on purpose. Like it was supposed to be like America. Like we're American spies. Oh, dude, fight enough terrorists. You know, it, some of my favorite movies as a kid. I, you watch them now, and I still love them. But like Delta Force with Chuck Norris. Oh, I, was yeah. like, I don't know if you guys remember that, where the Arab oh, terrorists yeah. take over the hostage. The head Arab dude, like the main leader, was Robert Forster from Jackie Brown. It's a yep. white dude, Danny. They gave him brown <laughs> paint, brown, brown skin, face. basically, brown face. It's odd, man. Yeah, they gave him brown face. Oh. I mean, that was the norm for such a long time. That was the 80s, too. So mm-hmm, maybe they yeah. were letting it slide then. That's awesome. But uh, yeah, man, I mean, weird shit like that used to happen all the time. Like all the like John Wayne played Genghis Khan. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, that was, that was I think, the biggest one, right, is John Wayne playing Genghis Khan. Oh, my God. There's a story about him in the uh, in the Middle East shooting the greatest story ever told. Like, mm. uh, hey, uh, Bio- John man. Wayne. Yeah, they, well, they brought him in to play. I can't remember who he plays, but he's in the greatest story ever told. But they talk about how they want him to be more John Wayne. Like, you're not John Wayne it up enough. He walks in at one point and he like pulls his pants up and his belly and he's like, well, all right then, partner, let's get this Christ the morning, huh? <laughs> it's like, really? Can you bring down the John Wayne a little yeah. bit? Because yeah. you're no longer what like you an Israelite. <laughs> yeah. 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 You can't I'm, do that I'm shit. I'm so glad we live in a world now where they got that shit correct, unless yeah. you're Johnny Depp playing Tonto in The oh, Lone Ranger. Weird, man. And then you got to tell people how you're like 135th Native American. Yeah, yeah. 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 Or, or or unless you got an entirely white cast playing, once again, the Moses story, yeah. Exodus. And I'm like, nah, it's funny because Ridley Scott go? took a lot, lot of uh, two years ago. Two years ago. Years ago. Oh, it was right. a bomb. Right. Gods but, of Egypt. No, no. Yeah, no, no. E- Exodus. 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 Gods was and Kings. Gods and that Kings. That's King. right. And I felt bad because Ridley Scott, you know what his defense was? When, like, how come you cast all white actors? Because none of these motherfuckers. How come Jesus is still white in these yeah. movies, yeah, by yeah, the yeah, way? Yeah, yeah. For the love of God. <laughs> yeah. But no, he really Scott goes, you think they would have given me a $200 million budget yeah. if I would have casted With unknown me. Middle East actors? Yeah. Or at least unknown to Americans? Probably yeah. not. But still, it's it's pretty infuriating. It is rough. I mean, I, I do kind of buy his excuse for it. He's like, I, I gotta I make this. I gotta make this this movie work somehow. The system won't do it. What I don't what I don't like is the whole Scarlett Johansson thing. Yeah, playing. Uh, oh. Now they're just gonna call her Major in Ghost in the Shell. Are you serious? Of, they aren't yeah, gonna give her like, her actual name. No, they're gonna get rid of that. But what got me was the explanation from Max Landis, like how he kind of just circle jerked the whole thing. Like, mm. hey, don't be mad at her getting cast. Get mad at the machine. But the machine is run by the people who cast her. Yeah, or allow her to be in the movie, right? Yeah. He just like, but that's he gave not this true, weird. Man. No, not it's with, not true. Not with that movie. Like you can, you can cast. Asian actors for these. There movies, are a you know? lot of Asian girls out there that would do who well, are yeah. great in the role, who are you know physical actresses. Yeah, they could they could pull it off. They're Jamie Chung, better, Jamie better Chung better just did that um, Sin City. She was phenomenal. Mm-hmm. In that. Yes, yeah. I, I think there's some movies where the story and the fan base is so built in, you don't need to go with big time actors exactly. to make the yes. movie succeed. That's not something yeah. you need like, to like bring in random. Even people. though yeah. I just spent 20 minutes bitching about Independence Day too, if it would have been a well written story and they would have had somebody else play Will Smith, I, I or not have Will. Smith in it, and it would have been a good movie. I, I think it would have been fine, but you, it's not. But you can't do something like Bad Boys Three without Will Smith. No, you no. know some movies you need Never, yeah. that 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 big time actor to be a hit, but other movies are a big event disaster movies or based off you know this very beloved anime movie that's yeah. you know, yes. had a history of what twenty five years now. I'm like, oh, more God, thirty. Yeah, thirty. Yeah. It's, it's, it's Akira. I thought it was late 80s. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. Akira, is Akira being made now, too? I've been hearing no, that. They, I've been hearing like discussions, dancing around but they're that like some it, weird. They're almost concerned it's just too weird well, to speaking figure Speaking of Max, uh, Max Landis there, um, what was that one that he did with uh, 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 Chronicle? With, That's essentially Akira. Chronicle? Chronicle, Chronicle? yeah. That was, you told me that. Yeah. The powers, right? The powers they got. The way they get their powers, the way mm. things are, uh, the way things play out, where it's like the one, the mentor character, and then the best friend and their friend. One of them gets killed, and then the mentor, he's trying to like rein in the other kid. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was good. It was a good remake of Akira, though. I'm really hit and miss with Landis, though, like Max Landis, because yeah. I like his points. I, I listen to some of the stuff, his, his Twitter and what he says, but sometimes he comes off like a crybaby. Like his last movie bombed, American um, American Ultra. American Ultra. Yeah, but look at the look and, in that. D- I know, yeah, and that he, made he, me mad. He he's like, <laughs> this movie should be doing great, blah blah. I'm like, no offense, but most people don't think Kristen Stewart's that uh, credible. They, oh, it's because he's incredible. I don't. I'll use that. Yeah, I'll use credible. I. She doesn't really light up the screen for me or no. draw me into going to see a movie. She's just kind of there. She's a meth head. 
Yeah. It's like watching a girl come down from a meth high who's not really quite done Frankenstein yet, but she's thinking really hard about it. Yeah, like she was good in Adventureland. <laughs> I think she was in that, but she's yeah. just kind of like Wasn't half asleep. she in that with Eisenberg? Yeah. Yeah. They've been in, yeah. yeah. And, you know. And I, Eisenberg too, man. I'm sorry, but like, why would I want to watch that guy do that kind of stuff? He was good in Zombieland. No, he I, wasn't. I, I hated him. Really? Yes. No, I liked him in Zombieland. Woody Harrelson. What, well, you know, well, Woody Harrelson did, and Bill Murray. And Bill Murray. Well, Woody got the better. Yeah, Woody I mean, did get the better. He, he did. I mean, I, I, Eisenberg. <laughs> Eisenberg was good what? in Social Network. He was good as as was Zuckerberg. Good in yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's why I'm pretty sure he. That's why I thought I was watching the character of Zuckerberg in Batman, in Batman Superman exactly. with longer hair. Yeah. Uh, it just, yeah, he's kind of, but you know, he suffers from that. I call it the Michael C- Cena thing, yeah, Michael Cena. where he plays the same dude. I'm just like, hey, well, he took Michael himself. Cena's thing. Yeah, like, he, he did. He take he stole Ma- Michael Cena's voice. How many big roles has Michael Cena had since uh, yeah. Eisenberg hit the scene? Just that last movie with. What's his... the one where he plays where he's playing a guy in his head as well? Oh yeah, that one actually that he, was he did a little bit of development, yeah, like, yeah. a little bit of stretched his actingness. You know, yeah. it's like it's like that's why I love Jonah Hill and The Wolf of Wall Street, mm-hmm. and I still think he deserved yeah. best supporting actor. He I awesome. really do because he was not Jonah Hill in that movie. You know who deserved best supporting actor? But I mean, we're going back to like the the bullshit of the studio system. All is, right, um, uh, Stallone should have gotten it, but Spielberg needed Mark Rylance to have an Oscar to get an Oscar winner in the BFG, and obviously his lobby worked out because Mark Rylance with a shitty performance in Bridge of Spies. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Which, wasn't that it was shitty? It just it wasn't. There was he was barely there. in there. He dude. was barely in. I think twelve minutes. Yeah, he was barely you know, a character. I, you know, the whole Oscar thing confused me. I'll go back even further. The year that Pulp Fiction came out, it was nominated for fucking everything, yeah. and it lost to everybody. All the Forrest Gump beat it in yeah. every category. But this has nothing to do with that. It has to do with like, how does John Travolta get a best? A lead actor nomination and Sam Jackson only gets best supporting, best supporting actor, actor even though if you watch that movie Sam Jackson kind of carries the the, he, yeah he's all he the quotes you remember it and kind of wraps it all up well and Travolta Superfly TNT Travolta Travolta's the bad guy yeah, yeah essentially well, out of the well, two well yeah I, he is and he isn't right he, but look, he's more bad. antagonistic they're all, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're all bad guys and Travolta did have a bigger section in the middle with uh, Uma Thurman that story yeah. was all him but still it's like how does Sam Jackson not get an equal nomination exactly there? I mean yeah. he really should have he was, uh, he, uh, I feel like he's the heart of that movie. Yeah. But 100%. isn't it funny? It wasn't it he almost wasn't picked? It was the guy by a bartending that was that's supposed right. to play that that's, role. That's right. He was going to play the The deal real. was Quentin wanted that guy who was in Reservoir Dogs, who right. was Tim Roth's cop and conform- yeah. informant dude. The stu- uh, but Quentin also wanted Travolta. The studio said there's no fucking way we're putting John Travolta in this movie. The last three movies did was Look Who's Talking, one, two, three. This guy's mm. career is over. Oh, wow. And uh, then it they, was a rough year. they made that's a deal. Him. They say, okay, we'll let you have Travolta, but you have to take Sam Jackson. Really? So it worked out worked out for both oh, wow. people. Oh, wow. Now, and with Sam Jackson, he was somewhat getting known that point. Too, he was. Right? I mean, he he, uh, was he had a, done uh, his first really big breakthrough was being in Spike Lee's Jungle Fever. Yeah, he's where, a, well, Mookie. No, he wasn't Mookie. Mookie is Spike Lee. He had a great, he was a crackhead. He was the crackhead brother yeah. of Wesley Snipes. Yeah, that's And right. then he, if you oh, look, man, I, you, I you blink and you miss him, but he had bit parts in True Romance, obviously, right at the beginning. Yeah. He was killed by Drexel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He was in Boys in the Hood. Uh, no, sorry, Menace to Society. He was in Menace to Society. He was in the beginning of the movie when uh, the main character of the show was a kid. Yeah, and he yeah. was also in Juice. He was the guy that owned yeah, the, uh, the pool Juice. hall. That's right. With Tupac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so he, he was kind of like getting these odd ends and, and bits here. And yeah. then, but Pulp Fiction was the one that really just that really pushed, well, that him the pushed him into mainstream white audiences. I always find it strange. <laughs> yeah, it's true. But I, always, I know. I find it strange how like he gets hired for Pulp Fiction. That buzz gets him hired for Die Hard with a Vengeance. Mm-hmm. Both movies come out roughly at the same time. And both both movies kind of propel him into superstardom. Yeah, mm-hmm. hey. where he's the guy. And both Hard movies have him and Bruce so well. Willie. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Both oh, movies weird. Bruce right. yeah. You know, he was a stand-in for Bill Cosby on the Cosby Show. What? I did not <laughs> yeah. know that. This he was the guy who would stand there wearing a Cosby sweater while they're getting the lighting set. Wow. Yeah. At that <laughs> time, he claims that he was a working, uh, working cokehead. He was so coked up yep. that he could pass a matchstick through the hole in his nose. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah was, and, and that's bad. why he always. That's why they're getting the Spike Lee role. Apparently, yeah. the rumor was he wasn't sure about doing it because it might be hit a little bit too close to home. Yep. But uh, and that's why he knocked it out of the park. Yeah, and that's why people throughout the '90s, 2000s are bitching. Man, Sam Jackson's in everything. The guy never stops. I'm like, well, he only his career only started in his early 40s, right. yeah. 40s. So he was working. He wasn't going to turn back down, then. down He's shit. A modern age Morgan Freeman. Yeah, amen. Yeah. Morgan amen Freeman, that. who was only in the Electric Company. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's all he really had. And he played a pimp and something. And that was just Of course it. he played yeah. a pimp well, I mean, and like, something. Va- vaguely, pimp right? And then four. Driving His Daisy comes along. Yeah. Next thing you know, oh, he's yeah. in everything, right? Yeah, no, it's it's true. Uh, Both black guys. But you know, it's funny. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey. you mentioned Spielberg and like, why can't Steven give us a movie that we love again? Man, I just want I'm one I'm not more. saying he's making bad movies. I'm not nope. saying that. But
Munich was Munich solid. was great. Yeah, yeah it was it a really was. good movie. But I mean, since then, I don't think I've gotten a great Spielberg. Like, I wanted Super Eight to be a Spielberg movie, mm-hmm. but I wanted it to be a Spielberg movie, like mm-hmm. not just a JJ something Abrams with more wonder in it. On. Like, much yeah, like I really want something like, like that. Yeah. Um, well, I don't know. I mean, I heard the the new one, Big Big Friendly Giants, getting yeah. great reviews, but nobody's going to see it. That's it's it's bombing. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's a, yeah. it's a cartoon movie. Isn't uh, well, kind of. It's very much like uh, what was that last one, the Tintin? Tin? Yeah, a lot of CG. That, yeah, oh, a lot of right, CG. right, right, right. Yeah. But boys, I think the closer we're going to get for Spielberg, yes. Have you heard of this new uh, Netflix show that premieres on the fifteenth this month, Stranger oh. Things? Oh yeah, no. yeah, dude, yeah. watch the trailer. It looks yeah. like Super Eight meets ET meets really? some weird, weird shit going on. And the early reviews are like, you'll binge watch it. That's oh, all really? with a kid, right? Like a kid is like the main. Like the there's main a group character. of kids, and one kid goes missing. Uh, they're, 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 and it takes place in nineteen eighty three too, hmm. which is awesome. That's stellar. And uh, yeah, kid goes missing in the woods and then they, they go to look for their friend and uh, Winona Ryder plays the grieving mom of the missing kid and hmm. shit like judging by the trailer and then they go to the woods try to find the kid and there's a random other mysterious kid there instead really yeah like a replacement kid yeah yeah <laughs> anyways we that, brought that, back this one for you I, this is yours now you don't know the difference I do know a, like I said it, it hits uh, in a week and a half or something and I love Netflix for dropping the whole series at once because yeah. I'll probably cool binge isn't that funny how they do that they're like nah here you go here yeah, here's I, all your I'm crack not a big ones. binge watcher because I feel like a crackhead. But here, you yeah. know, but yeah, but hey, at the you same know what time, they do? I like having it there. You know what confuses me, though, is hmm. some other shows they do that. Mike Tyson Mysteries, they do that. There's no reason yeah. to do that. Those I shows love are like, Mike Tyson Mysteries. Those shows are 10 That's minutes long. Why are you giving me one episode a week? <laughs> It's, it's true. It's true. Most shows, I can totally wait till the season's done, Like I yeah. put, except for like yeah. Game of Thrones, where I'm just like, I, I kind of stay off the internet for like 24 hours because I never get a chance to watch it on the Sunday. I got to wait till the Monday and... Any spoilers? People lose their minds. Dude, I've had so much shit spoiled for me. I don't even watch the show. Like, I haven't got yeah. to yet. The second season, I got Red Wedding spoiled. I was about to watch it from the from the beginning, and as soon as Red Wedding got spoiled for yeah. me, I, st- I just didn't. I couldn't get into it. I'm still gonna I watch stopped. it all, but I know yeah, there's like I'll deaths. Wait. And stuff yeah, I mean, don't forget, yeah. guys. There's people that read all the books, so I guess yeah. technically they spoiled it for yeah. themselves exactly. years for. It's still it's like a Shakespeare good show. Man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, it, it, yeah. It really. You is. know what's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. So you don't. Uh, oh, I'm the asshole. Pull that off. Oh, is your phone on, bro? Dude, up your phone. that's it. Worst. You got to turn in your podcasting card. Oh, yeah. Take my pen. It's a very nice <laughs> pen. <laughs> here, here, take my pen. It's an incredible pen. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, it was uh, one of the things I was going to actually talk about, too, was the um, the idea that like we're we're kind of getting into the modern age of movies and television now. Right. Mm. Like, we had our we had our Silver Age, probably like the Kubrick era. Like when Kubrick shows up, you've yeah. got like, like comic books, the Flash, uh, the Flash of Two Worlds. You get that Silver Age starts. We don't even know what to do anymore. Like we've got this weird era now where everything's mixed up. It's like like Netflix. I kind of know that Netflix is going to give me good stuff. Yeah. And that's going to be like a, a mark. Can you remember Carol Co? If you saw Carol Co or Canon Films, you knew we were going to get good stuff. Dude, Canon oh, Films. That, that documentary that came out last year, Electric Boogaloo, yeah, The Rise man. and Fall of Canon, just makes you want to revisit all those movies. You know, the other thing I was thinking about was, you remember like when we were actually wowed by special effects? Like yeah. a movie would come yeah. out and like, hold, that just broke new ground. Yeah. I can't remember a movie that has wet. We're so, like, I, I feel bad for the younger generation because they will never get the feeling like I was too young for this. But like, well, I can't imagine when Star Wars came out in '77. You're yep. sitting in a theater and you see those special effects. Oh man, it was nothing like you ever seen and before. And you know they're well, tangible. Even the Ninja Turtle costumes, right? Yeah. Like that kind of work. Mm-hmm. Put we into just stuff, talked right? about the predator, yeah. the predator finger. The predator. Yeah. You you forgive that finger touching the screen weird mm-hmm. in his hand, having a weird bend to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because it was a real thing that somebody yeah. took time it's to build tangible, an like, airbrush. Yeah, and you then touch like, it. Uh, Crystal. Nah, I shouldn't crystal. be doing this. You could touch it. It's like, yeah. yeah. I don't know if you want yeah. to touch it like that. Yeah. Or, or you know, <laughs> I remember, I guess it's the 25th year anniversary of this year. God, I feel old. Of uh, sitting in a theater watching Judgment Day, Terminator 2. Yeah. Those effects no were way. just like, holy Yeah, that was amazing. Shit. Yeah, I was so freaked out when I was a kid, like watching those robots and stuff. Like, mm. Well, the robots, the, the CGI with the liquid metal. Yeah. Still and looks good. I think the last one I really like broke all ground, we were all, we had to go see it, was The Matrix in 99. Yeah. yeah. But seeing those effects. With all the fights, the fighting effects, yeah. And the problem you didn't really know what you're looking at. Uh, the only the way work stuff they've been doing in Japan or in yeah. China for years. Yeah, yeah Crouching played. Tiger, Hidden yeah. Dragon. I was like, and then maybe Sin City in 2005 because we were seeing Very artistically different. We were seeing. Wow, I feel like I'm literally seeing the comic come to life. And you know what? Uh, I'm going to defend Sin City too. It's not a bad movie. No, it's it not as bad. good as the first one. Dame to kill for. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The problem with it is they waited nine years. Yeah. And how much stuff? Had, if that movie would have came out two years after the first Sin People City, would still be I think yeah. it would have done really well. It would have been big. It would have been big. But instead, we got the spirit. Oh, yeah. oh <laughs> and no. that was awful. Yeah. Yeah. And we had movies like like Three Hundred or yeah. Yeah. Um, the Immortals. Like, they like kind of took that that technology, and by, by the time the new Sin City came out, everybody was bored. Yeah, yeah. everybody was bored. That's I, exactly
Indiana Jones Five. A, a Zoolander no, Two was a good, yeah. a good stupid laugh. Which one? Zoolander, Zoolander two? two was a good stupid was laugh. It? Yes. You know, on. I still haven't seen the first one. Dude, Will Ferrell is still. I knew you were it. gonna say Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell still killing it. <laughs> yeah, Will did, Ferrell man. is like he's like the uh, the he's... best part of any shitty movie he's in. <laughs> yeah, man. It's he like if there's a, a crappy movie with him in it, you're gonna enjoy Will the, Ferrell. The fact yeah. that he was the bad guy again is just like. Man, <laughs> like you would expect to be annoyed, and you're like, "No, that's good." Uh, you, you overdid this. I remember <laughs> a lot. A lot, so, so a lot of people were getting complicated. A lot of people were getting sick of Will Ferrell because he just kind of kept showing up. Everywhere. I always liked Will Ferrell. Too, like man. I think yeah. he's a funny dude. I've got no problem with that guy. No, and he can do it all. I have no problem with Seth uh, Seth Rogen either. Like, people have problems with Seth Rogen. Yeah, people have problems. Like from his, I have a problem with Seth MacFarlane. I don't have a problem with Seth Rogen. Yeah, I'll yeah. Buy that. yeah. People I'll have buy a that. problem with Seth Rogen. And speaking Bro- of MacFarlane, uh, once again, I hear we're being promised yet again a new Spawn a movie. New one. Yeah, that's right. Really? Uh, I don't. That, that is his his uh, rumor. Is like we're gonna a get a remake new. or a, just a but it won't start-up. be Al Simmons. It's gonna be a whole new thing. Like oh, a, really? Really? Yeah, I, I Spawn thought Spawn is an entity. I like thought they were gonna do what they should have done twenty years ago. Was look at the HBO cartoon and go, let's just do that yeah. cartoon yeah, exactly. and make it live action. action. Yeah. 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 But that's what we always get, though. I mean, like, now, once Batman Forever came out, everybody just wanted the animated series yeah. live action. Yeah. We just wanted that, but we don't get it. And Spawn, yeah. the HBO, It was HBO, yeah? Yeah, yeah. it was HBO. Such a solid, like, oh, when did that come out? Like, the comic. Think about 90, when it came out, too. 90, it came yeah, out like 96, 95, 96. 95, yeah, yeah, that yeah. wasn't easy to come across if you didn't get if you didn't have HBO, man. No, you it had to like, wait until you went to the I HMV had, and picked that yeah, shit up. Yeah, on VHS, VHS, yeah. yeah. boys. Or thank God borrowed off somebody mm-hmm. that you already yeah, bought it, because damn, that's expensive. And I remember going to see the live-action movie opening night. We had advanced screenings. Everybody was jacked. You know, it's like, this is going to be great, and... I guess the suit looked cool, but the minute it was, they didn't even have the rights to Chapel in that one, right? That's, That's why right. they had to invent Mara Priest as the person yeah. that kills Al oh, Simmons. Oh, right. Yeah. And I guess John Lagmiozano did pretty good as clown, considering, Dude. you know, this movie's PG-13. You can't have, like, a Billy Kincaid ice cream child exactly. killer yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it did have Martin oh, Sheen, I, I guess. Oh, about Billy yeah. Kincaid. Yeah. yeah. yeah That's the actual right. serial killer, You know killer, what? Right? The biggest yeah. two characters they were missing was the two detectives. What was it? Oh, Twitch. Sam and Twitch. Yeah. Sam and Twitch. Sam and Twitch. Those, are, those characters write themselves. They really yeah. do. Yeah. They're, they're a solid, solid team up. As a, as the human aspect, but they're following even, them around with the Spawn story. Well, mm-hmm. Like that's the thing; they don't have to do a movie. They could do a TV show. HBO could do a TV show. They could Netflix. They could, yeah, and AMC yeah. could do it. To anybody. These anybody guys can could. all do. Honestly, stuff TV is better writing these days than movies. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, whether yeah. it's HBO or AMC or whatever, bigger name actors are going to TV for safety yeah. because it's like these are going to do well. Well, you know? speaking of Seth Rogen, that new Preacher series over to AMC. Yeah. I've only seen the pilot episode. Solid. I, okay. Now I'm no, not. I gotta be honest. I've never really read the the comics. I, yeah. Was there sixty awesome, issues dude. or something? Uh, or, I think you did. 66 that was yeah. it yeah it's, yeah. A, it's a prequel mm-hmm. but uh, it's really in it's own way it's really good if you haven't read the book and you watch that you'll enjoy it mm-hmm. yeah I kind of like going there yeah. you gotta separate the art you know give, give everything a chance even if it's based on a book or comics you know like yeah. you can't go in expecting what you read and grew up on or else you're gonna be heavily disappointed well no. that's all the, all the I, I've been getting into arguments with people about the comic book movies like the Avengers ones and the Marvel I'm like look guys this is the first time they've done it right like I'm yeah, sorry exactly. that they changed yeah. stuff for Let you but I've, I'm, I'm a loyal comic reader and I'm pleased like I'm, I'm okay with it yeah I'm, I'm cool so people that are hating nerd. on it, I'm like, hate it on it if you don't like the movie, but don't be like, it's inaccurate. That doesn't yeah. work anymore. I- I'm going in totally uh, uh, uncomic book educated most of these movies, so uh, I was literally having a conversation just where I saw Civil War, and I was asking my buddy, big comic book guy, one of my directors, I'm like, tell me about the Black Panther. You know, Tell me his background. What yeah. should be saying? Well, Kev, he's from a fictional African country. He's a prince. And I'm like, it's coming to America? He's Eddie Murphy. Yeah, We're coming to America? <laughs> he really is. And then he got right back. He's not Eddie Murphy. Coming yeah. Dude, you just described coming to America. Yeah. <laughs> he is Akeem from a coming to America. Yeah. The worst part is you open his eyes to it, and now he'll never see anything no, That's different. all he's going to see now. I, uh, I, that's all I see. Undoing a broom handle. Yeah. yeah. Shit out of somebody. Sam Jackson. Sam Jackson. As that's the robber. Right. He was Whoa. the crook in that. It Six all degrees comes back to Sam Jackson. Jackson. Weird. I just saw a music video that I think stole that idea because the guy's working in a fast food restaurant and a robber comes in and he unscrews the broom handle and fights oh, yeah. the guy off. Oh, he totally it. stole it's it. Be an but it's good. I think, I think that's more of It's always, it's either a tribute to that or it's a tribute to like, you know, working at a convenience store and, and, and yeah. pulling a Fast Times at Ridgemount High to stop a robbery. Exactly. Oh, there right. Yeah. Every, every great movie had something. Every great movie had a little hook like that. Like yeah. in the 80s especially. Oh. But we're done. Like we're done with, I think we're done with the heroes. We're done with theme songs. It burns me up. Are we done? We miss them. Are we? Can't stand. Oh man, dude, it's such a waste. Oh, do your opening episode with a theme song. After that, cut it short. No, you know, I want to see Superman flying. I mean, it wouldn't have fit in Man of Steel. It wouldn't have fit with oh. John Williams. Score. Oh, for movies. No, no, no. Saying, no I like, disagree. Uh, uh, you know what? Some guy go on YouTube. Some guy put
use a John Williams theme there because it is very bright. It's very light. Wait, yeah. wait. They put Superman in the Supergirl series? He's coming in, yeah. First oh, two wow. episodes of the new season. But it's the, it. uh, the kid from Road to Perdition. I like Road yeah. to Perdition. Yeah, Tyler Hodgson. So he's yeah. like... Yeah. In his twenties now, or what? Yeah, he's like twenty-eight. Oh, okay. And uh, he's he looks it. He looks like a like a Jim Lee version of Superman. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be all right. But give me the Superman theme there, the John Williams. Yeah, score, yeah. You know? Now I'm kind of thinking about it. Like we're not gonna get the Spider-Man theme or anything new. Like the one we love, we're not gonna get. It's yeah, gone. Okay. Yeah. What was the X-Men theme? I mean, I mean, I know the 90s we cartoon did. one. Yeah, we did get the X-Men oh, theme. Yeah, he did yeah. a version of really it at the briefly, very end yeah. of the uh, the first movie, and now we kind of always hear that. Hear that, that hurt, X-Men hurt theme, my feelings. You know, the did it hurt your feelings? Yeah. Did you Did you finally watch a new one? No, I saw it. No? Yeah, after me and Luke badmouth out. Oh, they just oh, crap apocalypse? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know what? I was super stoked to go see it. And, you know, h- here I am, a guy that paid to see Batman and Superman knowing it was going to suck, and yet I'm too stubborn to go see Apocalypse yep. because I don't want to I don't want to walk into a letdown. <laughs> you know, and like, I'm gonna. just like... But I'm curious. I might still get entertained by it. Like, uh, Yeah, did you guys hear the latest that Marvel wants to work, or uh, Fox wants to work in Marvel now? More sure, of the characters? Yeah, way more, yeah. 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 I think it's Good. ever since Sony budged finally, but you know what? Sony's is it? No, oh, it's Fox Sony. that owns it. Uh, Fantastic Four. I was. Oh gonna yeah, go. yeah. That's, that's Why cool. are they so stubborn not to give it to Marvel? It's a rough one, man. Because that, that thing doesn't do well. But really, I why bother? Uh, like, yeah, why bother? It's pretty awful. You know what? Never popular as comic. I know, but it's, it's, here's the sentimental why bother. Apparently, and I could be wrong. I heard it was like Stan Lee's favorite. Like it, the, those Fantastic characters. Fantastic Four was his baby. Those that was oh, his baby. Really? As far as like the Silver Age of comics goes, there yeah. were two comics that really push it forward. Was the Flash. That really brought in, like when Barry Allen becomes a Flash in DC, and when the Fantastic Four is born at Marvel. Those are the comics really? that really become the silver. Like, you can almost mark, like, number one, Fantastic Four number one mm. for appearance, and Barry Allen's, whichever issue that was, Flash of Two Worlds, as the, the two comics that ushered in the Silver Age. Really? And that's, that's what we grew up with. We grew up with those versions of the DC and Marvel heroes. Hmm. The Spider Man came right after that. Uh, just, just I think around the same time, um, we got Crisis, and Crisis was supposed to be the end of that, but Crisis on Infinite Earths right. became like the uh, the solidification of that. Yeah. So Stan Lee loving Fantastic Four, that's a big deal for Fox <laughs> to have that in their pocket. Absolutely, well, they can incorporate them. Just they, I don't think they could do a standalone yet. They'd have nope. to invent them first. But mm-hmm. what they need to them. do is they need to give them Super Scroll. See what happened is they're holding on to the scrolls, yeah. yeah. So Marvel needs to give Fox Super Scroll, keep them, do your thing, have them, but we want the scrolls, yeah. Because in all the new Avengers stuff in the current time, Secret scrolls are a big stuff. deal. Secret yeah. Invasion is a huge deal, right? Yeah, that's true. So yeah, we really need those guys back in the Marvel universe. That's why we didn't get the scrolls in the first Avengers movie. Yeah, which is yeah. stupid. Mm. They should have been scrolls, like in instead the, we got Ultimate scroll Avengers. Invasion. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing, though. Yeah, the, that's true, right? The Chitauri, yeah. yeah. Uh, out of all, out of all the Marvels, I mean, so far I think the Captain America trilogy has done the best, better it than has, the Avengers yeah. movies. Oh yeah, but I still think Guardians of the Galaxy. Is still Solid. the one I can watch over and over it's again. It's just an entertaining movie, man. I think it's the most entertaining out of them all as far as repeat viewing goes. Yeah. That's kind of how um, I'm, I think I'm looking forward to Suicide Squad like that because honestly, the, the, animated, uh, the animated one was really entertaining, man. All right, I will the, say the, this uh, Assault on Arkham? Yeah. Yeah. I thought oh. that was great. Like, if they just kind of try to mimic that. That's the problem, though. That's the problem, Danny. They are trying to mimic oh. it. They're are trying they to, like, though? this could be, well, no, maybe not the movie itself, although. Yeah. But the idea. The, but the bur- feel. The trailer. Yeah. Let's put a very pop culture uh, theme. Uh, Popular song, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll have all these wise cracking villains or these band of misfits that yeah. have team up. And then I'm sure you guys heard people really like the trailer. So mm-hmm. they're like, uh oh, all the all the funny, lighthearted stuff was in that trailer. Right. There's yeah. nothing else funny about it. So like Bring we gotta do reshoots. To it, yeah. So they had to do a bunch oh. of reshoots apparently. But I'm not getting paranoid. I remember you guys did talk about an early podcast with Rogue One having to be reshot 40% yeah. of it. Yeah, from the violence. That right. happens all the time. That's a, yeah, that's a you big know, thing. Really he kind of told me that too after I was surprised, but I, yeah. I'm unaware of that. Reshoots are planned before the movie even starts shooting. So, I'm I mean, up. we always have a reshoot about to happen. Oh. But I've got a lot of faith in David Iyer. David Iyer is a great director. Sabotage was good. Mm. Fury was good. I mean, everything David Iyer does is usually I really like good. Fury, yeah. Fury was, so- Fury Fury was, was Star Wars. It was a Battle of Hoth, but on... Fury. In World War Two. Yeah, it was it the tank oh, movie with the Brad Pitt yeah. movie? Oh man, yeah, that was amazing. You saw dude, green was, versus red. Yeah, dude. Oh. that was solid, just man. Like, man that just was circling rough. each other, shooting. Now Ugh. the ending, the ending burned a lot of guys because they they believe that if an SS troop unit had come across an American mm-hmm. tank tank artillery unit, and there was one guy left in there, no way that could have left him alive. Oh no, they would have gone after him. Uh, Who knows? I like. I'm not a World War II historian. I liked how they showed just a little bit of humanity. humanity. In yeah, that. just some mercy. You just cannot, like kids. You cannot yeah. dictate what one individual might do in one circumstance. Yeah, and that's what I'm okay with. And that these, me too. I thought. Yeah. That, I thought so too. They wouldn't yeah. be like. I have a. I mean, we always American hear these here, stories. You know? I mean, you got. Was it World War One? I? I think it was World One. Christmas Eve with the Germans and the Germans the, and the Americans. Yeah, was yeah. that World War One? Where
World War One and Two, yeah, it's a touching story, right? And yeah. that's that's what we kind of hope to have. That there'll be some kind of humanity. <laughs> Sorry, World War One and Two. It's a really touching story. If you take that <laughs> yeah, out of context, it's, uh, it's, sounds it's like a movie trailer. Yeah. Is, it, is it a hard? It's a hard. Well, it has, it has a start, a middle, and an end. That's it. For sounds sure. like the worst, yeah. like most Hollywood budget style trailer opener. World War One and Two, a touching story. It's like <laughs> then no, line was World the, War Two, yeah. right? Feel the passion. Feel the feel yeah. the passion. <laughs> feel the love. How are you doing on time there, buddy? Uh, it's about 8 o'clock, so we probably should get close because I got I to get home and change we and stuff. We can wrap this up and do it again. Yeah. Do you want to just cut her off here? Sure. We had okay. a good time. That flew by, man. Yeah, it we always does. We had a nice does. way to end it off, too, on the uh, World War II is a touching tale. Yeah. Christmas time. <laughs> we should end it off on uh, maybe like what uh, what movies, uh, what's the next movie you're looking forward to seeing with the summer movies out since oh, we we're talking? Yes. About. Or what next movie will you go see even if you, you think it's sure. going to be bad? I, I know for a fact that new one coming out, the other uh, brothers there going to Hawaii. Uh, oh, you're going to go Dave and whatever. Need, go to, uh, uh, yeah, Dave and whatever. Dude, need, that trailer looked great. I kind of want to see that. Yeah. Efron eats a lot of shit, but that kid's funny. He's mm-hmm. funny, man. Yeah, he's a funny dude. And the other one there, too. I, he's been in Modern Family. And uh, what's that one? Isn't it, what's his name's brother? Because he's crazy now. DeFranco's brother. Is it DeFranco's Isn't brother? Isn't it? No, no, I thought James. it was Zac Efron in that movie. No, no, no. Yeah, it is it's, Efron. It's Zac and Efron. Oh, buddy. Oh, no, no. And the other guy, he's from. The Office Spacey kind of show. I thought he was in Silicon Valley. No, not Silicon Valley. The other one. Workaholics? Workaholics. Workaholics. Right. You're right. It's Zach yeah. Efron and work, the guy from Workaholics. Uh, Adam Devine. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Super he's funny, dude. Yeah. Super funny. And I think it's going to be good. I think it's, it's going to be awful, but good at the same time. <laughs> what about right. you? What's your thing? <clears throat> well, um, let's be honest. It's coming out next week, guys. Just a yay or nay. Will you go see Ghostbusters in the theater? Or will you wait and feel it out a bit? I, I will because I don't want to be that guy. I I'm, I feel like the the movie fan in me has to give it an honest shot. Yeah, you know, here's the thing though, and I'll I'll I'll, I'll sum it up the best way I can. It's like when my regulars come into my shop and they're gonna rent a horrible remake of a movie, and they know it's gonna suck. Or no, they're gonna go pay to see it in a theater, and uh, they know it's gonna suck. And I'm like, well, wh- why are you doing that? Because you give them the money, they're gonna make more shitty remakes. That's how these things keep happening. I hate it when you rationalize. It like so that. Well, <laughs> no, 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 this is gonna save us all, boys. Because so, I do that with Michael Bay movies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is, uh, when you go to the theater, whatever theater it is, just pay for a different movie yeah. and then go into that one. That that's way, good, if it really sucks, at least you, the guilt and burden of I gave that money is off your off your shoulders. I would, that I would pay a really for, good point. I would pay to like. This, like to give the money to Fast and the Furious and then go watch that movie. Like I would rather if I had to choose. Like there you go. If I was concerned about a movie being crappy, that's a really good idea. Well, What's, your what? What's yours? Uh, well, I don't know. I'm really kind of excited to see Suicide Squad. I'm sorry. That's still a month away, <laughs> that's, homie. That's, a well that's away. still a month that's away. Coming out. July's right got some stuff. What's yeah. coming out right away? I don't know. Ghostbusters. That's, that's it. That's your baby. That's it. That, that's how. That, no, there, that's got to be some other stuff coming out. We'll this go month. in there in raincoats. I will go, but I'd feel like I'm going to go in. Shame. 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 Yeah, Shame. it's like going into a porno theater exactly. in the 70s. Shame. <laughs> Glasses and raincoats. We'll go check that out. Even though everyone else is there. Is for that the same Dan? Reason. No, no. No, look no, away. no. Look Dan, away. I'm Mike. I'm Mike Smith from LaDuke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we all look the same. I know someone same. from LaDuke. No, you don't. You guys look the same. Kevin, I want to thank you for coming on out. Hey, thanks yeah, for having me, man. Stuff, it was man. a pleasure. Yeah. Well, this is the first of many. And yeah. Daniel, don't touch me because you're back here next but, week. Come on. It's okay. Nah, it's okay. Yeah, I know. It's good. This is a good one. Just uh, so everybody knows you probably